2009 Escalade 6.2 ESV truck. The history behind this truck is truck was here at this shop. They replaced the transmission cooler line because the, the trans cooling line was leaking. They replaced that. Customer took the truck. Week later, truck started to misfire. Uh, she came back to shop. Shop looked at it. They scanned it. They were saying a uh, cylinder number two was cylinder number two was misfiring, which is which is this um, bank two cylinder number one. That's the number th number two cylinder. Um, they replaced the coil. Coil didn't change anything. Then uh, they replaced. Uh, I think they swapped the coil plug wire. Didn't do anything. Then they kind of gave up on it. They called me. I looked at it. Um, again, I don't. Uh, you don't take sh shops word what they did. You know, you write it down what they're doing, what they have done. But you got to start with the basics. So I started with basic. Uh, since the coil is new, still I didn't trust the coil anyways. Uh, I pulled the uh, spark plug wire out and checked for the spark. Sure enough, it has a spark. So that tells me spark, the coil is working and it's got a control and all that good stuff. Um, I went ahead and scoped uh, primary circuit anyways. I do have a control on this. Then I went to check injector and uh, injector injector was good as uh, injector was working the way it's supposed to I did have control I did have good power and ground um, then I moved I removed the spark plug check the spark plug spark plug was okay the spark plug was okay so um, then uh, the truck's gonna get started so I'm gonna step away from it so what I did, I did compression check on these uh, cylinders. So cylinder number two com uh, compression was kind of bouncing back and forth, 150 psi to 160 psi. Sometimes would go 170 psi. Then I check with the good known bank, which is bank one, one and three. Uh, compression was shown at 165 psi. Spec shows around 160 to 165 psi. So that led me to believe something's going on with the valve train of the of the of this uh, bank two head. So I told the shop, let's uh, pull the head out and see what's going on. So after I'm doing a follow up video, actually, I didn't I didn't make a video of diagnostics of it. But, um, you know, since I'm here at the shop again and uh, they showed me what was wrong with the head, which I will show you guys in a little bit. And uh, my diagnosis was right. Um, um, as I was saying, like, uh, so that bouncing 150 to 160 PSI was not normal. That's what led me to believe either it's got a broken valve spring or something's going on with it. So, like I said, shop did pull out the head and I'll show you what that head looks like. All right, so this is the head they pulled out. The head has been already replaced. Truck is good to go. It's running well. Um, so here's here's what we can see. These are the valve spring right here. And look at the height of this valve spring. See, it's lower than the other ones. And the funny thing is, this is cylinder number four, not number two. And here's what happened with this valve right here. This is the other side of the head. Look at that, uh, right there. The seating of this, I'm gonna get a good focus on this. Let me get a light actually. So you see the valve seat, it's just falling off. It's just sliding, I believe it was sliding up and down with the valve. And we were not getting consistent compression. I should have checked number four cylinder for compression, but I didn't because cylinder number four was not misfiring. It was this cylinder that was misfiring. So I'm not sure why this cylinder was causing this cylinder to, their, uh, its compression going up and down. Maybe, I, I'm not sure. Maybe since the seat was sliding down compression is getting way too high and 
compression escaping from this cylinder going into that cylinder that was that what was causing i'm not sure but yeah um can you trust scan data uh yes and no but again my hunch was right based off the the bouncing a uh, compression reading on cylinder number two not cylinder number four actually i didn't check cylinder number four because the truck was not uh the pcm wasn't saying there was a misfire on number four saying number two was misfiring but i think my hunch is that you know valve seat right here that has slid down and maybe maybe that compression was getting way too high and air was escaping from this cylinder to that cylinder yeah i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure but uh just thought make a video of it and um yeah this is what i found so look at that height of the spring compared to left and right the middle spring is lower so hopefully someone's out there trying to diagnose it helps someone else out there all right